We've come a long way when it comes to truth. This is cool. This helicopter had precious cargo in it. And yes, this jet has a cartridge ejection system. That's pretty cool. You are a pretty soldier. I salute you. There's another one in there too. I was just next door at a submarine that is haunted. But yeah, I remember one time driving through here. I was on my way to Louisiana to New Orleans. And I think I was doing a live stream and several of you mentioned visiting the USS Alabama. We're going to go there right now. There's 60 reported ghosts that haunt this ship. We're here all alone. investigated a similar battleship down in Key West, but it was not as large as the Lucky A. I mean, this thing is ready for battle. Look at these machine guns. Whoa. I wouldn't want to mess with this guy. Heck no. The submarine, super cool. If you want to see that video, I'll leave a link down below. Did catch a lot of sounds. I don't know if there were sounds from just a, an old ship, you know? But yeah, definitely caught some noises here and there. I'm gonna have to go back. I haven't reviewed the footage yet. I'm really excited about this one though. Supposedly, a lot of the employees here kind of cover up the fact that it is haunted, but you can look it up online. The Lucky A, USS Alabama. I mean, a lot of you reached out to me telling me to come and explore this place because it is so haunted. People have reported seeing apparitions, especially in the kitchen area. We're gonna go check it out here in a second. Lots of noises and it, it's an everyday occurrence here. So we're here alone. There's been people in and out of here. I mean, it's, it is a, a very active museum. So I'm sure the spirits are gonna be quite excited when I enter in by myself and have something to say. This is pretty cool. Some of the Japanese rifles. Oh, a Japanese hand grenade. This isn't as tight as the submarine that we were at. A little bit more open. I feel like you can hear a lot more of the submarine too because I didn't know they were going to have all these fans running right now. But I believe from what my friend Jody told me, the bottom, bottom deck is very, very quiet. So probably going to catch a lot more there. I'm getting seasick just thinking about the seasickness. Do you imagine like this rocking back and forth? And, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you get seasick. Your boy Omar, I love, love, love the ocean. I mean, I could sail around the world. I would love it, but yeah, I would need a lifetime supply of drama meat. I thought I seen somebody over there, but there's nobody on the ship. fabricated on the ship. Makes a lot of sense. Up ahead is one of the most haunted parts of the USS Alabama. So I thought when I was gonna walk in here, it's gonna be people working, but it's just like sounds of what it would be like if you know the kitchen was active. It gives you a good feel of what the soldiers felt being here every single day. Looks like they had some pretty good food. kind of ship and you see the tables like this the reason why they were like that is because <laughs> this thing is moving if you had food here like your food is moving all over the place I mean you're going to be wearing your food if this isn't here so the soldiers would sit here their tray tables would sit here and some of them would be eating food like as the boat was moving this kind of kept the train inside of its own place and it would just kind of rock back and forth so imagine trying to eat and like you know that's crazy but yeah that's the reason for these little lips right here where the heck is that speaker at on here i didn't see it 
He's hiding somewhere. Maybe these guys really are cooking. I'm pretty hungry too. This is like a pantry to see how close we are to the actual kitchen. Probably one of them because you know, a lot of soldiers would be on this on this ship. And by the way, if you didn't know, this served in World War II. And I believe it was built in Norfolk, Virginia. Oh! Hey dude, you can't be scaring me like that. So that's where the air conditioner is. I felt a cold spot in this room after I heard a very strange noise coming from in here. Hey, that's pretty cool. They used to have boxing on the ship. Wonder if there's any of these soldiers that are attached to some of this, you know, their ghosts. Oh, look at their little Bible. Super cool. Lava's over there. I heard the keys. You know what, maybe it wasn't keys, maybe it was actually like utensils moving. Because there are utensils in there and the trays are metal. That's probably what we heard. The question is though, is there anybody in there? These mannequins be freaking me out sometimes. It's really, really, really cold right here. If there's any ghosts here that belong to our servicemen, just want to thank you for your service. I could see why you love coming here to visit. Are you behind me? Definitely did hear a noise again. Let me know if you heard the noise. Oh, no way. Look at this, they have a print shop in here and a dark room, like a photograph lab. Dang. We've come a long way when it comes to <laughs> No idea what that was. Sound like something really heavy just fell. So I'm in one deck lower than I was. A little more quieter down here for sure. Spoke too soon. A lot of noise coming from in here. several months. I mean, I'm not sure what the longest recorded time that they were away from land was, but I mean, you could see with the shop here, with the machine shop here, they made things on the ship. They have their own laundry. They did their own photos and prints. They did a lot. Okay, that was music coming from there. Okay. Yeah. Music. This is pretty awesome. There's a walk 
the room or toilet stalls? Ew. Thought these were lockers, like where football players kind of change and stuff, but no. If you look closely, there's the toilet paper and there's like a giant bucket down there and people just sit. And they do cock -cock right there. Next to each other, the water closet and washroom. I'm not going to read that, but you can. And these are urinals. No, I'm just kidding. More than likely, they were, they're, yeah, there's the urinals over there. Oh, pretty close together. Much say. There's a video on YouTube where this guy comes out after peeing or whatever he did and he starts washing his hand in something that looks like that. And I guess people were laughing at him because it was a urinal. Like, it looked just like that. That's why I said urinal at first. It's pretty funny actually. So if you're traveling and you see a sink or what you think is a sink that looks like that, ask first. That way you don't wash your hands in someone's urine. I mean, if I had to go, I guess I would use it. Find some more. Bump beds. It's not very comfy. Do that again. I don't know what it is, but something so majestic about going somewhere and being all alone. Especially somewhere that's full of history like this. Is this a prison? Whoa, this is a prison on the ship. Uh, they called it the Brig. So I didn't know this, but Brig was the term used for the Navy and the Marines. Man, this is comparable to being in the hole, man. I mean, there's no windows. Pretty sure there wasn't any lights in there too. I could be wrong. I'm hearing noises all over, especially now that it's a little bit more silent. I'm gonna see if I could communicate with some spirits. What are all these noises I'm hearing right now? Anybody die on this ship? At war, I heard that. Japanese soldiers that were kept here in the brig. It was full. Dead. Okay, so one thing that dawned on me is, you know, this ship, it was used in the war. I mean, it was shooting down planes, things like that. I'm sure there was some survivors that fell into the waters or whatever the case and they more than likely were here in the brig especially you know during the world war ii there had to have been some soldiers that maybe they were flying to and they were injured there should have been a hospital here and there should have probably been an area where they kept dead bodies were there any dead bodies here stored <laughs> You not want to talk to me? Wow, that sounded like a like a very heavy accent. Let me know in the comments if you caught some of those things that I may have missed during that spirit box session. Like I said, small working community. Check this out. One of my favorite places. If you didn't know, your boy Omar used to be a hairdresser, see? Those are my scissors, my color brush. This is where I would be back in the day, cutting people's hair. Man, I love the old school barber chairs. I keep hearing keys, and when I look, I don't see anybody with keys. <sighs> Dang, dude, you're creepy. One thing to keep in mind if you're gonna come visit the US, US Alabama. There's no elevators here. It would be cool if they did have that, but these stairs are very steep. I want to say there's about three levels. This is the room where I heard some utensils being tossed around. Wait a minute, it wasn't in this room. Wait, I wasn't in here. See, I told you I'm lost. This is a store. Dang, check it out. Oh, I want a Butterfinger. I'm so hungry. Hey, I bet you the old school Butterfingers were really good too. And 
Look, the Altoids didn't change much. Nice. Some Phillies. Oh, wow. There's some damage. I didn't even think of that. I guess they did have some things happen. Oh, look at this. What happened to USS Alabama. It's from a kamikaze crash. Oh, man. Oh, Leo just passed away. May you rest in peace, buddy. Thank you for serving our country. Oh, this is amazing. So all the crewmen from the USS Alabama from 1942 to 1947. A lot of the same last names. A lot of Thompsons and Thomases. A lot of Turners. These are some of the commanding officers. So I was trying to see if I see my last name. And no, I mean, you can see pretty much about every last name here. Not a lot of Spanish folks. There were a lot of Italians that I do see. Did see a couple of Polish last names. You know, our great United States, it's a melting pot of all sorts of races, which is pretty awesome. That's why I love it. Oh, that's pretty cool. There was 2,500 men aboard. Here's another, like, machine shop. Dang, that's so cool. So that's our old school scuba divers. Dude, this ship is massive. I don't think I want to be able to see everything. Like, it just it just keeps going. There's so much that I feel I still missed out on. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite places that I've explored the history with the World War II. This place is amazing. If you're anywhere down south in Alabama, be sure to check it out. Not a far drive from Florida. If you're maybe hanging out in Orlando, Tampa, like where I live, it's going to be a little bit of a drive. I believe it took me about six hours to get up here. Let me know in the comments if you caught anything that maybe I didn't see, I didn't hear. Gotta go for now. Before we leave, give me a kiss. Mm -hmm.